Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome to another interactive speaking exercise. So how does it work? Well, today we are going to be using the shadowing technique to help you improve your British English speaking skills whilst helping you to train your modern RP accent. Amazing. I will start by telling you a true story about the time that I was nearly eaten by an elephant. Yeah, I'll tell you this same story three times. For the first time, all you need to do is sit back, listen and enjoy. For the second time, you will listen again, but after each sentence, you will repeat what I have just said. So for this part, it's important to try and copy exactly how I say it. It's the small details you need to focus on in order to really improve your British English accent and pronunciation. Finally, for the third part, we will actually be reading the story together at the same time. And this is the shadowing technique. So I'm not going to lie, this section is a little bit challenging. But by doing this, it means that you will be able to perfectly imitate a natural British speaker, which of course means that you are also speaking in a natural British accent. So feel free to repeat steps two and three as many times as you need to before moving on. And guys, as always, with all of these exercises, there's no rush, there's no pressure. If you make a mistake, I'm not going to send an elephant to your house to eat you. No, this is just a chance for you to practice your modern RP accent and speaking skills in a fun, relaxed way. So good luck and enjoy the video. Let me tell you a crazy story. My adventure began on a Wednesday afternoon in Thailand. The sun was blazing and I was in the mood to do something unique. So I decided to visit an elephant sanctuary. As you do. I'd never met an elephant before, but I heard they were very kind and gentle. And that's exactly why you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Anyway, my friend and I hopped into a taxi and made our way there. After a long walk over a wobbly bridge, we were greeted by an enthusiastic man named Chai. Chai was our tour guide and within minutes we were already introduced to the elephants. And yeah, they were absolutely massive. Chai then asked if we would like to give them their lunch and we stupidly agreed. The next thing I knew, I was standing there with a bucket of sticks in my hand feeding two hungry beasts. It started slowly, one stick at a time, but it suddenly became a lot more intense. Before I knew it, it was two sticks at a time, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then it happened. The once calm and peaceful elephants turned on me. Suddenly, sticks were no longer enough, and they had their eyes on something bigger. It was in that moment that I started running for my life. The elephants, hungry for their main course, started chasing me through the jungle. After five minutes of running, I was eventually cornered into a river with nowhere to go. I had two options, become elephant food or try to fight them both. As one of them started approaching, suddenly I thought of a third option. I put my hand in the water and gave the closest elephant a big splash in the face. The water startled the beast, giving me just enough time to make my escape. I started swimming down the river and didn't stop until the elephants were out of sight. I was free. I had made it. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know if you've ever nearly been eaten by an elephant before, but I must say, it's quite a traumatic experience. Anyway, it's now time to move on to part two. Here I will read the story again, but after each sentence, I would like you to repeat what I have just said. Now, as mentioned, it's important to try and copy exactly how I say it if you wish to really improve your modern RP British accent. This section is quite challenging, but it is extremely important so feel free to repeat it as many times as you need to 
before moving on. You can also play it at a slower speed if it helps. So why is this section so important? Well, obviously there is no better way of learning a language than by actually speaking it. However, if you don't live in an English-speaking country, this isn't always an option. And that is why I would like to offer a solution to this problem. Lingoda. Lingoda is a fully online language school offering fun, interactive, private and group classes every hour of the day. There are hundreds of native level English teachers to choose from and every lesson is completely tailored to your level and learning goals. What I really love about it is how you can choose specific topics for the lessons. So for example, you can learn about the history of beer with Naomi, the past simple with Jody, or even how to write a business email with Kevin. They have all of these different courses as well. So for instance, you can use Sprint to learn in just two months, Flex to learn at your own pace, or Teams, which gives you fixed classmates and teachers every single week. So my love of pizza and pasta has recently inspired me to start learning Italian and Lingoda has made this really fun. Booking a class is so easy and they have all of these useful self-study resources as well. So I would say, um, Ciao, mi chiamo Dylan e amo la pizza e le elefante. So whilst I was just enjoying a private lesson, the group classes are also extremely popular because there is a maximum of only five students per class, which means that you get a lot of personalized and individualized feedback and support. They're also even more affordable as well. So you can use my exclusive code below to get £15 off any course and up to 20 free private lessons when you sign up to Lingoda Flex. If you are still unsure, you can also get a seven day free trial so you can try it completely risk free and see how good it is for yourself. Right, the link is in the top comment and in the description. Definitely go and check it out. Right guys, enjoy the speaking exercise and remember, an accent is like a song and it's important to hit the right notes. Good luck. Let me tell you a crazy story. My adventure began on a Wednesday afternoon in Thailand. The sun was blazing and I was in the mood to do something unique. So I decided to visit an elephant sanctuary, as you do. I'd never met an elephant before, but I heard they were very kind and gentle. And that's exactly why you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Anyway, my friend and I hopped into a taxi and made our way there. After a long walk over a wobbly bridge, we were greeted by an enthusiastic man named Chai. Chai was our tour guide and within minutes we were already introduced to the elephants. And yeah, they were absolutely massive. Chai then asked if we would like to give them their lunch and we stupidly agreed. The next thing I knew, I was standing there with a bucket of sticks in my hand feeding two hungry beasts. It 
It started slowly, one stick at a time, but it suddenly became a lot more intense. Before I knew it, it was two sticks at a time, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then it happened. The once calm and peaceful elephants turned on me. Suddenly, sticks were no longer enough, and they had their eyes on something bigger. It was in that moment that I started running for my life. The elephants, hungry for their main course, started chasing me through the jungle. After five minutes of running, I was eventually cornered into a river with nowhere to go. I had two options, become elephant food or try to fight them both. As one of them started approaching, suddenly I thought of a third option. I put my hand in the water and gave the closest elephant a big splash in the face. The water startled the beast, giving me just enough time to make my escape. I started swimming down the river and didn't stop until the elephants were out of sight. I was free. I had made it. Right guys, time for the third and final section, the shadowing technique. Here, we will be reading the story together at the same time. This section is quite challenging, so honestly take as long as you need to. You can also go back and repeat step two as many times as you like, which will make this a bit easier. Try to copy my voice exactly, and don't worry if you make any mistakes, it's actually a good thing. Enjoy. Hello. Let me tell you a crazy story. My adventure began on a Wednesday afternoon in Thailand. The sun was blazing and I was in the mood to do something unique. So I decided to visit an elephant sanctuary, as you do. I'd never met an elephant before, but I heard they were very kind and gentle. And that's exactly why you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Anyway, my friend and I hopped into a taxi and made our way there. After a long walk over a wobbly bridge, we were greeted by an enthusiastic man named Chai. Chai was our tour guide and within minutes we were already introduced to the elephants. And yeah, they were absolutely massive. Chai then asked if we would like to give them their lunch and we stupidly agreed. The next thing I knew, I was standing there with a bucket of sticks in my hand, feeding two hungry beasts. 
It started slowly, one stick at a time, but it suddenly became a lot more intense. Before I knew it, it was two sticks at a time, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then it happened. The once calm and peaceful elephants turned on me. Suddenly, sticks were no longer enough, and they had their eyes on something bigger. It was in that moment that I started running for my life. The elephants, hungry for their main course, started chasing me through the jungle. After five minutes of running, I was eventually cornered into a river with nowhere to go. I had two options, become elephant food or try to fight them both. As one of them started approaching, suddenly I thought of a third option. I put my hand in the water and gave the closest elephant a big splash in the face. The water startled the beast, giving me just enough time to make my escape. I started swimming down the river and didn't stop until the elephants were out of sight. I was free. I had made it. Right guys, and there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As mentioned, the shadowing technique is not easy, so please feel free to repeat steps two and three as many times as you need to before moving on, just until you feel 100% confident that you sound like I do. If you did enjoy today's video, why not consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on post notifications, and maybe even commenting down below, it all makes a massive difference. If you would like to stay in touch, I would recommend following my Instagram, which is British Education underscore, or my Spotify, which is British Education. I do also have a weekly newsletter, which you can sign up to for free, and it means that every Tuesday I will send you a fun English lesson, and you will also receive an exclusive bonus video as soon as you sign up. All of the links are in the top comment. As mentioned, if you are serious about improving your English speaking abilities, why not check out Lingoda? I genuinely think it's a brilliant service and it really helps to support the channel as well. Right guys, I post new videos every single Friday, so thank you again one more time for watching and hopefully I will see you there. Cheers.